Greetings. Nam me yoho venge kyo. Nam me yoho venge kyo. Nam me yoho venge kyo. Greetings. Give thanks and praise to the mystic law of the universe and its protective forces in nature that guide our thoughts in all ways that are positive, correct, and lawful. Give thanks and praise. Well, I'm looking at a document that is called the Constitution of Jamaica. Now, I find this in the political database of the Americas. On top it says uh, the Jamaica Constitution Order and Council 1962. Now this is a constitution where everybody need for know about, need for probably have a copy of because this constitution is right in line with the supreme law of the land. It has to be. And when you look at the document, the item can read it, the item can scrutinize it, the item can take them time. Never just pick what I want and pick at it and just highlight a few stuff. Like number one, this order may be cited as the Jamaica Constitution Order in Council. 1962. Now I place emphasis on the word may because right there for me personally it, it may be, it may be not. It can be the Constitution of Jamaica. It can only be a corporate charter. So again According to the words they use, usually in legal terms, if it's a shall, then that is mandatory. Now, when it's a may, it's saying it's optional. So, is whatever you choose to be governed by. When we scroll down, Uh, it's right there in writing, everything is usually right in front of us. It's only because of the distractions. And again, because of the choices where people choose to make. All of these things go right over our head or right by us. And we don't even take notice of these things. This constitution is supposed to be the law that governs corporate entities. In chapter chapter two they talk about citizenship. Uh, chapter one them I break down the definitions and stuff. Chapter two them I talk about citizenship. Now chapter 3 of me really of interest in right now because chapter 3 I deal with fundamental rights and freedoms. Freedoms is synonymous with liberties or liberty. So you know it's the same term. I'm, I'm really use the words I'm fair all over the place. I'm going to read number 13 chapter 3 number 13 whereas every person in Jamaica is entitled to the fundamental rights and freedoms meaning liberty of the individual that is to say has a right whatever his race place of origin political opinions color, creed, or sex, but subject to respect for the rights and freedoms, liberty, 
of others and for the public interest to each and all of the followings, namely a right to life, liberty, security of the person, the enjoyment of property, and the protection of the law, of that same common law, which is the supreme law of the land, which is codified in public law, and that same Bill of Rights, that 1789 Bill of Rights that was ratified in 1791 which is a part of a complete constitution. That document is a document that is in place to keep these corporate entities in check. No one is above the law. However, these corporations create their own laws and if you are the author and the creator of those laws then you are not subject to them. But the common law is something else. That common law is set in stone. It's simple. Do no harm. You know what I mean? And trespass is a harm. You know what I mean? So we well, forget them kind of inner standing there. Them kind of comprehension there. And it's not really complex. It's just we well, have to kind of read with complete comprehension. We have to know the definition of these words being used because now we're looking at this document and most people say hey, it's just some ordinary word this document is a legalese document you can't look at this document without using legal dictionaries very important and when you scrutinize chapter 3 you see where a lot of violations have taken place because of lack of knowledge but i am here to shine light on this information because this is a right and when I said this fundamental right fundamental right mean it's only being secured by this document this document doesn't give us any kind of rights we already have those rights inherently we get those rights from the creator of the boundless universe these rights didn't come from no man. These rights didn't came from no organization. These rights didn't derive from no corporation. Each and every man or woman possessed this right naturally. Why do you think you need to ask permission from the government to act if you're competent to act? Should I say, hey, you artificial entity with a name that's called government, should I ask that government for permission to breathe? Should I ask that government for permission to think? Should I ask that government for permission to be? <laughs> That's a no-brainer. We all have our inherent rights. However, in order to exercise these rights, we have to know we possess it. You know what I mean? We have to know where to find it. Because if it's not in writing, people will say it's only an opinion. And I'm here to show you that these rights are right here in these corporate charters or constitutions. Whichever you choose it to be. Because it's always a choice. However, these things are in place for the corporate entities. So if you are connected if you are an employee of the corporation then you are subjected to these corporate rules regulations codes statutes the corporations are 
governed by legislative bodies which is where the boss sit which congress is that boss congress the congress is that boss and when we break down the definition of these words to congress you know what i mean it finds it synonymous with transgress transgression no i mean it's not our words it's their words i can't come see these words i did just have to really try to comprehend these words so i can use them impeccably This constitution is a beautiful thing. Number 14 said, No person shall intentionally be deprived of his life, save in the execution of the sentence of a court in respect of a criminal offense of which he has been convicted. Okay. Number 14 number 2 without prejudice to any liability for the contravention of any other law with respect to the use of force in such cases are here and after mentioned the person shall not be regarded as having been deprived of his life in the contravention of this section if he dies as a result of the use of force to such extent as is reasonably justifiable in the circumstances of the case a for the defense of any person from violence or for the defense of property wow so i guess i have the right to defend a person that is being attacked or in any kind of violent situation and i also have a right to defend my property to defend my property the actual wording for the defense of any person from violence or for the defense of property now when someone unlawfully trespass on your person and unlawfully Cease your property. God, I'm off to take it forcefully so it's not just seize. You know what I mean? Then we are within our right to defend ourselves and to defend our property and to defend our community from violent acts from any entity why should we be afraid why should we be afraid because you're a bully because you feel like you're mighty with all kind of high power weapons you're saying you're god we need to correct ourselves on all level within the system and outside the system we need to start correcting ourselves on all level no one is immune no one is immune that that resident magistrate or that judge you're all public officials your title mean nothing you are all in a corporate capacity working for a corporation and is limited or restricted by those very rules of those corporations. You are not above the law. And even if you create your corporate policies and call it law, the supreme law of the land with that bill of right is there to keep you guys in check. 
and it's not a bad thing it's not a bad thing each and every individual have a particular set of rights that they cannot even give away it's only true deception and lack of knowledge but these rights cannot be traded it cannot be given away it can, cannot be contracted away now I mean when man say we are sovereign we are sovereign the only sovereign that can exist is man because man is an extension of their creator and the creator of the boundless universe is that sovereign now if you're a creation of man it's impossible for you to be sovereign because in a corporate capacity as a registered organization being attached to that juristic person then it's impossible to attain sovereignty because you're always and will always be a subject citizen when the American sovereign man say hey, I'm a sovereign American we know what that means it can never mean sovereign citizen <laughs> that's an oxymoron we all know that we all know that but the corporate state have a way to disseminate misinformation they have a way to put out information that they want to be out there so they can label people we have a sovereign state capacity all corporations all corporate entities can only have foreign state capacity there's a distinction between commerce and trade people use commerce and trade interchangeably but there's a huge distinction why we find ourselves engaged in commerce is because the entity that is governed which is a foreign occupying power it's foreign to us so whatever engagement whatever interaction whatever intercourse it is commerce it can only be commerce because you're foreign to us and once you engage in commerce you're subjected to those rules of the commerce now if I who know the difference can only trade and choose only to trade then don't I have that right what about my free will to choose my political affiliation you know what I mean to choose my national affiliation to self identify you know what I mean meaning I can say if I choose to be a Martian from Mars then who are you to say I'm not you know what I mean and if I place that on the record and you can't rebut that word for word then doesn't that stand as law it is law we give thanks we truly give thanks for the free expression and when you reach on this level yes you have to be responsible we are not here to incite any riot we are not here to incite any form of violence we are only here to correct ourselves I'm not even trying to correct the system or trying to correct anything outside of myself it's just to correct myself you know what I mean if this constitution right here in 
number 13, chapter 3, number 13 is showing me, so boy, I have this right, which is a fundamental right, meaning it doesn't come from any kind of man. It's only secured by man. Because sometimes we have some of us who are weak and we have some of us who are strong. And some of these strong guys like to bully the weak. Now everybody come together and come to an arrangement and an agreement and say, hey, we can't do this and we cannot do that. And if we do these things, then we shall be liable in our personal, private, and even in our corporate capacity. We shall be held liable. It's all written. It's all documented. I never invent or create none of these things. All of these things are written in stone. When we are engaged in trade, it's just me exchanging our intercourse and our doing business with my local people that is in the Americas. And when they say the Americas, it's because it's plural. It's uh, what they call it, archipelago. Even the big landmass that they say, hey, this is such and such. The un Listen, we're all islands, connected islands. You know what I mean? This is America. We are American. We are the true Americans. We are the true Americans. Politically, you have a lot of different species of American. But originally, all foreigners came here and saw us. We were here. We've always been here. We will, we will always be here. We have nothing against no foreigners once they come with the right spirit acknowledging that yes, these people, you know, they have been here. So let's kind of give them a little respect. You know what I mean? We not tell no one to bow to us and all of those things. But it's kind of unfair when you come in our house and trying to put us outside of our house. And then claim in our house as it is yours. It's called usurpation. You know what I mean? It's called genocide in whatever form, whether it's on paper or whether it's physical. You know what I mean? All documents that's historically there shows this. A particular kind of people doesn't have to be any specific shade. Those people move with the same spirit. And those are the kind of people that come, devour and conquer. They destroy everything that they see. And once you're here in the earth, it's not hard to identify that kind of spirit. You know what I mean? It's not hard to identify that kind of spirit. However, We can't really cry over the milk that is already spilled. What we need to do is just get a mop. You know what I mean? Get that mess up. You know what I mean? Get that mess clean. So we can push forward. It doesn't matter where you are. Just start right there. Hey, how can I correct myself? How can I improve myself? Because it's all about me. And once we start pay close introspection to ourselves, then we're going to start to say, boy, I want this a compassion, because if I feel like this, how can I make a next man feel that way? A very dear friend of mine shared this with me. She said, are you hurting? And I'm like, no, I'm not hurting. She says, so why would you want to emit earth and anyone else? Yeah, because man used to move with that energy where, 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 where very harsh. And it's spiritual. And when the Empress said that, she said, it's only hurt people. Hurt people. And that's a beautiful phrase. Guys, only hurt people, hurt other people is when you're hurting and have a problem and lay out that hurt all over the place. But when you start check yourself and say, wait, oh, my life's so sweet. 
we not talk about the material aspect of it. We are talking about you finding your place. You finding joy. Where most people are crying and are find torment. It's where you see beauty. Where other people are see chaos and mess. You know what I mean? God, these things is where you can find within. And you have to find it within. So you can see it on the outside. Listen man. The mind is a powerful thing to waste. It's always been said. However. What is the mind? Can you see it? Can you feel it? Can you touch it? So what are we saying? We are actually saying. If we correct our thought patterns. Then. Then. Our actions will follow. Say if we try to stay positive even though we know it's tough, then may I tell you, you got to have some positive energy I circulate. You know what I mean? And I know it's tough because, yo, I day in the island here and I look at it because I live here when I was a young youth when I get forget the big man maturity living on the island. But when my day I know for the past nine years and me I tell you I see some things, I experience some things and in, you know, me can't say nothing bad or good, it's just experiences. But me really see what people is living in abject poverty and it break me heart. It break me heart when I see some ones are living in abject poverty. Me I talk about say, yeah, them not read and write, so yeah, them not qualify for God assimilating at the governmental system where them can get work or most work any work all work any work where you say you gotta do any kind of employment where you gotta do it's assimilation because the government own everything and if you say you gotta sell some bag juice remember you can't last because you buy a little pack of bag juice and start walk on the road and say bag juice bag juice you have some mul municipal officer that scoop down for you and say yo what you do I take away everything where you have in a car you don't have no license for do what you do why would you need license when you're only trading you know what I mean you know engaging in a business with no foreign entity if it consider commerce to bring it under that jurisdiction where the municipal officers can feel like them can confiscate your goods them thing you break i art nobody care about the poor when a man gets some education and him living at the ghetto amongst the poor and them say my shine bright a whole heap of thing happen to that one if the neighbor them not destroy him, then when him reach all in the school system, them just snatch him out and say, watch ya, come out of the ghetto then. And theme life get good, but it's only theme life alone get good. Because sometimes all the family them get left behind at the ghetto. By the time them carry that little man at the university, him is a different brethren. You know what I mean? Him nobody think about the ghetto per se no more. Because theme friend them now talk proper on them, they're uptown. More time him they uptown and all him look at proper restaurant with him proper friend them and say all the ghetto youth him feel away. You get me? Him now want to look upon the ghetto youth not the eye cause him know say boy that's who him really is. A man like me, I care not what I'm there. <laughs> I jump off of my eye ass and say what well, go and worry ya. Enough ghetto when I don't even know the ghetto them name me is a man catch up in and sit down in and just have a group of warriors say yeah I wanna try to better you know. And I met no man fool on you know. Sell them gun there and buy some laptop. And when I have the information from the laptop I'm not gonna realize so I wanna can't even make any gun on the one because now I'm not responsible and know if I operate with a gun. When I see police officer with them big gun, me know so enough of them can't even read and write properly. And you need a four year university degree before you start carry gun. Most of them police officers are at best are some little even class education. I'ma commend them because enough of them really try to apply themselves, but the misguided ones will make them eager to get the better of them. With them feel zealous or them easily programmed. 
a man give them an extra 15 or 20,000 them just send them upon some silent judicial killing and them not ask who them are kill them not ask why them are kill them just got kill kawa is a job for them you know what I mean sometimes the little man where them are kill where people hype up says is a bad man or the best man that in the whole world and if them said, boy, that man have to destroy your next man because he's a bad man. Ask a which man that him kill. I bet he's a fucking, I bet, forgive me, I bet he's a raper. I bet he's a little, one of them, you know, unsavory kind of person they might remove from the community. And him is labeled as a bad man. Now the top down, them will get the good label where the government does. I don't agree with no night, brother. I say... Correct knowledge, correct education, correct information for all ones. Because if you're going to the ghetto, you know, and the youth, them get certain information, you know. No man can't come talk about him or done for him, you know. A man has to say, brother, I'm a respect and honor the divinity, you know, you know. But yeah, you hear me? It's the style of way you have. All when you kill me, you know, you can't get me bow to you. So you need to go somewhere else with that. And this is what we need. If I man supposed to be not done for nowhere at all, me have to be the servant for everybody in that place. Me have to be below everybody for I try to lead everybody. Me can't be not done above everybody, me living in one big house. My furniture them cost one hundred million dollar. Yet when I come out of my house I be a zinc fence, me say. And the people them look for me like me as somebody. Throw me in some new clothes. You know what I mean? And when I look for them clothes, it's raggedy. If all a group are we now can okay, change to a shirt, that still not mean nothing. We have to get back to the basic where we are love for one another upon a level where all when I violate you know, so make me just easy up because you know, I just misguided love. You know, you know what I mean? Some people have a, have a sense that boy, we're not perfect. But my day have to tell us, say, yo, you're perfect in all of your form, in all of your way. Because if you come with a negative energy and a negative spirit, spirit, that is who you are. You have to learn how to correct that. And if you come with a high positive energy, with a good, great spirit, then that is who you are. Just enhance that. Please be that light. So we can see the light there shine and try to emulate that positiveness. Brethren, everything balanced. We have good and bad all about the place. So that's why we choose for nurture. That's why we say let's balance our thoughts. Let's correct our mind. You know what I mean? Because one thing no one can take from you, you know, is how you choose to think, you know. But if you allow some other ones for outside entities for program you or condition you to whatever form them want, then <laughs> you can't help it. Now you live in what is known as an automated society where the system does place a program on the TV and the whole society conform to that way of being, whether it's right or wrong. I say independent thought is good. I say to be autonomous is good. I say to be sovereign in your capacity is good. However, we have to be competent. It's not a show off thing. It's not, hey, me I got away, I'm lawless. Lawless what? Now you're governed by the highest law. Now you're governed by a law where you're not where the outside of yourself. You're not going to fool nobody. Now when you violate within this capacity, you have to forfeit down to your very life. You have to just go up there and say, watch ya, I did it. So watch ya, I accept the punishment. Nobody not supposed to come look for you because you run and hide after you, come up, you commit some form of atrocity. I not support that. I not agree with that. Listen, listen, listen carefully. I give thanks and praise to the mystic law. It's a law of the universe. Listen carefully. We are lawful. We are lawful. We are correct. We are on the correct side of the issue. We are on the right side of the issue. 
<laughs> Give thanks and praise. The race is never for the swift, you know, or the man wearing them pretty clothes with them pretty shoes, you know. The race is going to only be for the strong. You get me? So you have to be bold. You have to be brave. This is not about, hey, make we take over the government. Are you insane? Go somewhere with that foolishness. Oh, let's create anarchy. What is that? Listen. This is about correction. This is about what is, for lack of a better word, proper. It's like a man say, what is your name? It's okay if you ask him, which one are you talking about? Most people are familiar with the estate name. You know what I mean? So, which one are you talking about? Because you have your name, which is an appetite, the estate name. And then you have what I'm calling your proper name, which is the correct name, which is your given name. I have two given names, which according to the English language, I use a hyphen between those two given names, connecting those names. Now they become one. So if I'm John Doe, or John Tom Doe, now I'm John hyphen Tom full colon Doe. Now that colon at the end, it can be interchangeably. I can say, hey, I'm Doe full colon John hyphen Tom full stop. I can't allow no outside entity to determine who I am or what I am or where I am. I am, my brain work fine, you know what I mean, my brain work fine, yours work fine too, don't let nobody tell you about you're stupid, don't let nobody tell you you're a fool, the only time them can tell you that is when you do something that's stupid, or you do something or you say something that's foolish, and if they tell you that, say hey, give thanks for the correction. You know what I mean? Now you start to ask questions, so you're not sound full fool. You know what I mean? So we totally understand all of these little nuances. We have to get away from it, we have to get past it, we have to start now apply ourselves. It's very important. Let's activate. When I look out, I see a complete automated society. If I get up about 5.30, cause usually I'm on up and about early. And when I look on the road, by a particular time, you see it's a line of traffic. And in the evening, it's the same thing. I respect the hard-working man because the ancients say, uh, by the sweat of your brow, you shall earn. But when someone else is benefiting from your sweat equity, then it becomes a problem. It really becomes a problem. Most people know a whole heap of things are going on. Them just can't put them on on it, you know. And the system designed in such a way where it's like an octopus. Many tentacles that have a whole heap of different arm all over the place. When you think you get it right here, oops. You half key again. And when you think here you have it, oops. It's somewhere else. When I tell the people them for door, what I would do is this. I create my own paradigm. I create my own paradigm. I create my own world. I create my own heaven. Yeah, man. And as such, I try not to interfere with the next man's business. I mind my own business. God, the man will interfere with the next man's business, does so at his own peril. You know what I mean? You hear what the Constitution says? You have all of these rights. And a person shall be intentionally be deprived of his life. Except a court say, boy, oh, you're a criminal and you're convicted and you need to die. Look at that. However, them say you can defend yourself. 
them say you can defend yourself and you can defend your property you have that inherent right there so no man not for run up on you to him have gun or to him say him work around here so or to him say boy him father a government official or him daddy a king or a queen and a man not for come try to take what you think arbitrarily just see and take your things from you like all these three Larry Curley and Mo just see me on the road and just take my private automobile and then them go carry me in a them 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 inferior court them traffic court you know what I mean and them go really continue with them malicious persecution all of these things are legal terms I try to use my words impeccably it's unlawful arrest and imprisonment and all of these actions constitute a tort claim and even when I'm in public warning you guys, you still seem like you want to pursue, you want to persist, you want to continue. Well, it's not a problem. It's not a problem because, again, my cause is correct. My cause is lawful. Yeah, man. And my surgeon is non-commercial. Because if and when I choose to engage in commerce, we have our entity. That's what our juristic person is there for. That's what that trust is there for. And when you attach your social security to my trust, then hey, that's where I'm exempt from all liabilities. Because all obligations are government obligations I didn't write these things read it 1933 Banking Relief Act do the research these are nothing new in 1933 there was a huge change in how the corporate entities operate they remove the substantive gold and silver from the market and replace it with negotiable instrument yeah in the form of all of these federal reserve note or promissory note or draft bill of exchange so when you see i use these federal reserve note as money these paper thing it's like a huge monopoly game it's backed by nothing it's really dead paper you're just promising to pay and if we both agree, say, hey, this is what it is, then there's no law being broken. It's a contract. We both agree to these things. These are the simple breakdown. It's only a specific kind of people use those currency when they don't know what it is. It's only a specific kind of people do that. They call them the 14th Amendment citizens. Those kind of corporate citizens and the corporate citizens are subject to the corporate rules known as statutes you know what i mean when you're in your sovereign state capacity you are the source and the author of all law because all of those things derive from you so don't feel like you're a bad man and can't make them kind of statement yeah uh, he's a little fraudster. He's a little scammer. He's a little con man. You know, can make them in a statement, yeah. You know what I mean? You have to be lawful and you have to be correct in your capacity. You have to know who you are and balance yourself. You get me? And on a joker boy thing, them thing, yeah. This level here is not for no little, you know what I mean? Softy. We want to come with some trickery. We are look for benefit themselves materially. This is not for you. This is for what I'm called the elect. The elect, not just a truth seeker. We are talking about some peculiar kind of people where they're not the earth. Some people where they're not fear shout loud and act like say, boy, they need a fanfare. I get so much pull from police officers out there. I have complete respect for them. It's just the few, the very few rogue 
officers you know those type when they all read and write properly you know those type the one where get the job because him friend or him father or him family member there in other things so him take a lot of evening class whole heap of extra work for get there those kind those ones that are easily influenced those are the ones that will give the problem you know what I mean however Sometimes when them get a chance to correct themselves, them want they become like oh it has a Saul turn to Paul, them want they become really, you know, instrumental. Once them get the truth and turn them thing around, you know, them start live a commendable life. But some of the time we we find ourselves in some state of true we lack knowledge and anytime someone will get the information what we need, we really correct ourselves. We really do correct ourselves. And when people are try to change community, they might try to change everything outside there and then they work on themselves, change themselves and them wonder why the change now go on, then your approach is wrong. Correct your approach. Start from the cause of all things, man. You know what I mean? What's the cause? Stop watch the effect. Go to the root of the problem so we can get some kind of comprehension. Then we can look for and solve them. If you not get to the root, what do you think you do? You only shave off the branches and some limbs and the tree still there will give you a problem. So you have to get to the root, address the root, so it can bear some proper fruits, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Life simple and complex life because of our desires. I always say that. I may always say that. Our desires are where we really have we going. However, moment we can balance with thing, you know, we just give thanks, cause watch ya, the man have a right for do what them want do, for you not hurt him or defraud a man, that are your right, I know they have to come look upon the man, I have time for that, I have time for look next door upon where my neighbor do, I have too much things for do, just for govern your little self, just for try to get your estate, your house in order, brethren is a lot of work, you talk about a set up all your trust. That's why I'm tell the people them get the wise trust the handbook. Cause you go find say over thirty set of documents you have to deal with. <laughs> you think a joker work? It's a lot of paperwork. All a man like me we can't type on them things that you want to see me a pick 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 it take me all all, all all day for type certain things. And I love it. You get me? Cause now me look like me can't type. Who me just memorize which part the key them there. So you see me now, you swear some go to school go learn how to type. Or learn how to type where we teach yourself everything, man. And the item can do it. The item can do it. Yeah, man. The item can do it, man. Right now, I have a new system program. I try to see if I can record. And, you know, so this is like a test recording. But you don't know. My tests are authentic. All when I test, all when it's spoil, it's like it's a style. This is who we are. We are trendsetter. This is who we are. We are, we, we are the extension of the creator. So why aren't we creating? Nothing wrong when you do the thing your way, man. A different way, man. All you want to do is make sure so the guideline is right. Make sure so you have law for use as reference. Now just now when no man say. Cause a man says his only opinion. Don't to when all a little official, a little judge, or a little magistrate. And when them attack is only them opinion, we think them is them is not God. Them is not God. We think them are put on them underwear like how me and you put on our underwear. We think when them have bowel movement, them not have a head to the bathroom like you and me. Them are not God, them have to demonstrate so them have the right spirit to get any kind of respect. Because only the law can command authority, not the person. Not the person, never the person. The person have to demonstrate so them it is in conformity with the supreme law of the land. 
not none of them like a corporate commercial laws here that's for your business you can't look for a man where I move on the land and I come try to govern him with some foreign sea laws you can't do that them thing that is called treason you know that what you think we don't know when you sell way out for foreign entities it's called treason and you know how we deal with treason Spanish Town Square can't tell you Spanish Town Square can't tell you how we do with deal with people who commit treason against our people we hang them on tree brother when you commit your treasonous act you not get no time because you know what you do and all of these laws when you're looking at the constitution it's all i tell you about treason i'm not talk about them corporate charter because all corporate charter are for hewn are for humble itself to the governing parent document remember you know in 1776 you know some people come together and say, watch out, we don't want to really deal with Britain upon the level anymore in a car. It's oppressive. And them come together on behalf of most of the people and were there and say, watch out, we independent. Some people say you're in a pending state. But we say we are declared, this is a declaration of independence of July 2nd, we published July 4th. 1776 you know what I mean when the ones them say boy all men are created equal how oh, a guy are going like so we have some tie clear more than I all men are created equal and as such are endowed with certain unalienable or them say inalienable but I say unalienable because you can't put a lean upon my life and you know what is a lean. You get me? All men are endowed with this unalienable right where them derive from them creator. It not come from the man. So certain documents were placed in put in place to secure these unalienable rights, unalienable rights. So who are you? What place are you coming from when you feel like you can demonstrate or you can administrate or you can project any kind of authority over a sovereign man? Are you insane? Are you insane in a know so I have all kind of right to defend myself and my person? All kind of right. The moment you step out of your place and I go interfere with my liberty, I'm supposed to deal with you harsh. I'm not going to deal with you firm anymore. I'm going to deal with you harsh. Because now you become a threat to me. Mo, you become a threat to me. Larry, Curly, and Mo. You see, Curly, you can a thump of fat one day. I know you have a self esteem problem. I mean, no, I say, boy, it's easily correct, my brethren. Because I can look through you and say, say, he's not a bad person. But you like for touch, man. You like for put on cuff, bam, man. You must be a sadist. You have to know where you are, the brethren, because that's going to cost you. I care what you think. I mean, I have to push that energy there. You can't do that. You have to get correction. So people, me I try to make on a know, say, see the Jamaica Constitution, yeah? chapter 3, I talk about fundamental rights. You know what I mean? And it's a go down in it on a level. I don't have to go through it, you know, because I like when I create certain things and create a document. And then I bring the document forward and make the document speak for itself, because that document is law. Bag of talking is only opinion. Back in the days, they removed that. Back in the old time days, they go in a court and the man them hold up them testicles and swear upon them testicles. And if a boy violate a man, cut off that. But them change that. So now it has to be in writing. You know what I mean? So remember, make we become competent. Make we read a little bit more. Make we write a little bit more. Make we, you know. 
Make we do some things what them not expect from we. Make we become better. When the foreigners came here, them come see some people them call, the noble people. The Arawak, we them call. And show them can't say Awak. Them can't pronounce the words. Them add them little vowel to the things and you know, fancy up the thing. But we now get caught in a semantics. We just like to stay authentic. So we say Awak. That we say. While we say Arawak. And it's not a problem. You know what I mean? It's not a problem. Uh, when we say Awak, that are not English. When you say Arawak, that are the English translation or transliteration. But yeah man, this this Jamaica constitution yeah, is so you know expressive. Yeah man. It's so expressive here. Yeah. So I them thing I mean is a man deal with me no bother with the little joker laws them. Cause everybody wanna make some talk and say that a law but watch me now. We have to use what is documented. You get me? And when as my learned friend, Detective Sergeant, you know what I mean? You know who you are. I tell me about the supreme law of the land. Now may I tell you where to find that supreme law of the land. Because when you're in a corporate capacity, you don't know them information. Yeah. Everything where you are studying and where you learn, it's public information. You don't know nothing about this private information. Because public and private do not mix. Public and private cannot mix. You know what I mean? When the public can try mix with the private, you know them corporate capacity, it's a huge violation. Brethren, don't interfere with people's liberty. This is what caused a lot of problems in the earth. Go check it out. When some government offic official, because you have a little job, remember it's a job you have, you know. Remember me, I talk about your person, I mean nothing, you know. Remember it's just a job you have and you can lose that job easily. Easily you can lose that job. All a man have to do is shine light on your misconduct. Uh, when you are misconduct yourself in your corporate capacity, it carry a lot of responsibility. And these are a new time. It's not back in the days where everybody dance and can't read and write and some guy come and rough them up and it's okay. All when you kill away, your estate is done. You're in financial ruin. So you see some of you magistrate will act like on a thing say on our God have people about you know, you know need for correct on yourself because we know if we put a commercial lien against on you know, estate on you know, is not immune and don't on you know, can't cry ignorance of law you are not immune correct yourselves because ignorance of the law is no excuse correct yourselves and govern yourselves accordingly yeah man, when you are a public official man, that means a boy you have a high office higher. You have a high office higher. You have a servant of the people higher. Them thing there have a whole heap of integrity with it man. On a, on a, on a, on a superstar in other office there. Watch me man, clean up on a act man. If you don't know, ask somebody so you can learn how to improve on yourself and come correct because the time has changed you now you can use might and say on right again a lie is a lie even if the world believe it and the truth will always be the truth even if the world don't believe it you get me even if the world ignore it the truth Remain the truth. Yeah, man. So in order for us to move forward and create that place where all of we can coexist harmoniously, we truly have to correct ourselves. And I have worked hard for even I. For years, I have worked on correcting myself. You know what I mean? And when I brag about this or that, I don't mean that. We just they have to share, so watch it, you know, so if we try something different, it just might work. Let's show more compassion. Let's show more care. You know what I mean? Leg of the greed, man. 
You have some man who just want to eat everything. Them just want to do everything. Them just want everything for, for themselves. You get me? And sometimes when you look upon them, upon the physical image, you can't see exactly where them spirit is. Because I always know this, you know. When you look upon, a, upon the outside, you know. I see them where the spirit stay upon the inside, you know. Yeah, man. You have some high level people can look upon some people outside where say them look pretty. And when the people them look upon them, them know say inside of them filthy. Leg of the greed, man. You know what I mean? You know you don't want this thing. Low it make a next man can attain it, man. Cause you don't have no use for it. Leg of the greed. You cook a big pot of food and a year alone live. You don't cook a small pot, man. One big pot of food and you not share it with nobody. You just greedy. You just sit down and name it off. You know what I mean? Make we show more compassion, man. Leg of the greed. Stop chasing this money. Type in Juno Monito. And you got to say, it's an ancient goddess. Juno Monito is an ancient goddess. That's where the term money derive from look it up don't take my word for it Aya. so when a man a ball him want money and him love money and all these things yeah you yeah, worship that god there but you don't know it when I get some money Aya, and I ram for share it brethren cause dead people you know I ram for share it man you know, if you've been a fool with your money, you know, if you say you're part with it, you know. But know what money is, yeah. Uh, because some man, they're not hurt with them. They don't want them, them, them kind of thing, they're not them presents. Certain millionaires don't use them thing there. Yeah, man. I be a credit them talk about, because them know, say, I saw the world run, no real money no exists. If me, I tell you, say, all of obligations are government obligations do you know the implication of that that means say enough you're paying nothing at all you're supposed to uh, discharge everything accordingly however them not teach with these things and if you ever try that them look like it them look upon you like a crazy them we all are right them we are lock you up and say you deal with fraud only because them lack knowledge and because them might you know Remember, you know, when them are come for you, there's all 100,000 police and soldiers because they have all resources at their disposal. So, for them might, I got to look right. A man like me right now, the people them have me like, say, boy, me is a subversive kind of man. The man them tear up my character, you know, yeah. The man them tear up my character. Me have some bridge when right now. The man them afraid for link with me because them say, boy, them police, yeah, them government of Jamaica, yo. I have my little small business where I start them thing, them mash up. Just by these rogue government officials. Because you can't arrest a man without a court order or a rent. Or you just take my thing and just arrest me upon roadside and imprison me upon roadside and have me lock up in a handcuff upon roadside and put my vehicle, I have to wait till record come and vehicle go up and all them things there is in you man then we think you're going to just walk away like oh that's okay you must insane the law and nature no go allow that them have a law what them call the law the law hey, watch this it's a cause and effect we call it cause and consequence yeah man so any cause where you put out them on, you're going to get the consequence of that cause. Know that. The moment you interfere with the next man's liberty, know you do that at your own peril. That is law. Them no one teach you these things. They think the guy for just come run up on the next guy and feel like it's okay. When you try that, if you try that at your own peril, your whole house for say what at him do. Your whole house for pay for that, brethren. Financial ruin, it now for being a violence. Financial ruin, complete financial ruin. When, you, when all your girl where you give a little credit card, go for swipe that and she says, say, Boy, that now work. And when she call you and you say, Yo, I'm going to check the bank and them I tell you, say, Yo, I did something, you know. 
this is when you're going to realize that you're in a mess. Yes, you know what I mean? You have to know what you're doing. You have to know how you approach things. This is not the old days where everybody dumb, my brother. When you get a job as a police officer, you better can read and write. I remember I get a pullover at Twitnam Park. This was when about 30 or 40 police converged on me. When I get that first stop, and the brother asked me, license and registration. I said, brethren, I'm traveling. This is a document I'm using. Did you read my decal? That police officer look at me and say, I cannot read. From there, I should have known. Say, boy, them a plan for me. A whole heap of conspiracy I'm go under the, these people, you know. But me know them not try hurt me. Me know them just a try tell me, say, yo, you can't left our government, you know. Just go and work with our government. But I'm here to say, hey, your government is a foreign thing. And it's kind of oppressive to I. Because I'm not see where it a benefit the ones. You know what I mean? Because even when a man I work two or three jobs, I see same in a problem the same way. And then when I look upon the law, I realize that the government is supposed to take care of all of we were there in the Commonwealth of Jamaica. The government is supposed to take care of us. But because we don't know ourselves, you know, because them say we fall from our estate, you know. Some foreign people come and start telling us about we are African, we come from Africa. You know what I mean? And when them take our best and our brightest students and carry them in them university, you know. And start teach them some different things. And them poor students there, they don't know how to, you know. Just check what them teach. That's qualified. You gotta do some research. Because them students don't know how to do them thing. And them just come back now and I say, boy, hey, we're all Africans. See Marcus Garvey there. The whole world of Marcus Garvey as one of the greatest man. And I don't know gonna knock that. But me, they have to say, then I will tell you Marcus say all we come from Africa. And even a term like Africa never exists in an ancient time. Where them name they come from? For you tell me some come from Africa. Warm to America. Then if everybody come from Africa, then which part of America they? How would how would exist in America? And them have documents that say when the Europeans, meaning foreigners from somewhere else, came to America here. Because when them say Columbus came to America, he never stepped foot on the mainland. Columbus was right here in the, what them call so-called Caribbean, which is same America. When I look at the map, I see all a place like Puerto Rico, them, them call that Latin Caribbean, and everywhere else in the same area, name something else. Puerto Rico named Latin America, and the rest of Caribbean named Caribbean. Isn't that a, you know? We have to look upon these things, man. And start correct yourself so we start remove those imaginary borders. Now the moment you start correct yourself, you know, see no border. The moment you start correct yourself, you know, see no white man and black man and blue man and yellow man, you don't see that. The moment you start correct yourself, the whole heap of prejudice and the racism where ones and ones were taught. I got start correct and that I got gone. You got, you got, you got can look upon all a white man and heal him as a brethren. Say, where well, I go on my brother? And you do the same with a Chinese man and a pink man. No, it's just if the energy correct. Because I will look upon a man who look copper color like me. And know the same energy not, 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 not straight. You know, I go get me a mingle with them kind of guys there. Eh? Why? To him look like me. Me a burn him. Me a burn him out hard. And stay far from them. You get me? Because again, you know. You see, when you are all up, and I say you yeah, correct yourself, and I balance your thought, and I balance your ways and your deeds and your action, staying on the right side of the issue, and a man come up against that, know that's an adversarial spirit. Don't even watch what kind of man him is. Look upon the spirit where you move with. I call that your mother. You get me? It's an adversarial spirit. 
and you just push that away or if you know if you decimate it you just decimate that spirit make it go away we do have to correct ourselves we do have to correct our thought so we can move on the correct path we don't have nothing to prove we don't have nobody where we are trying to impress Give thanks, give thanks. Look upon the Jamaica Constitution. I can't go in a whole heap of detail, but I like for this chant, like a philosopher, you know? I like that chant, yeah. Because most of what we are bringing across as information, it's there already. But we not having someone who can reason with me, who can give me all that energy for say, yo, you do the right thing, my brother. Even though nobody not see it or hear it. Yo, well firm, my brother. Well firm, warrior. Stay bold. Stay brave. Stay true to yourself. We are not here to be adversarial with no entity. We are just here to correct ourselves. However, within that correction, other entity might become adversarial because not everybody wants the correctness. Most people like chaos. When a next man feel the need for you, look at a next man as property. Right there you should know you're a psychopath. You should know you're not normal. The moment you look upon a next man as property, or even woman as property, know something wrong. You need a psychological evaluation. Guys only corporation operate like that because they are artificial they can see only other artificial entities create a separation of entity between you and your juristic person and you should be in good stead that's a beautiful